Domestic violence is a part of your life wherever you live. It's not just a family problem or a secret between a husband and wife. Domestic violence is a shadow that darkens our entire society. The effects of abuse touch our children, our neighbors, our co-workers, the people in our churches, our entire community. Domestic violence is everybody's business, and putting an end to domestic violence should be a concern for every one of us. This video will present three different examples of domestic violence with a glimpse of the effects on all of the people connected to it. As you witness the portrayals, you will see that abuse does not have to be physical to cause pain to others. Abuse does not even have to be directed at a person to cause pain and scars. Just seeing, hearing, or even knowing about the abuse of another person can change a life. You will witness verbal abuse, emotional abuse, and physical abuse. And each will leave its mark. Not again. Please stop hurting. Well, I'm sorry that I forgot my Dad's hurting Mommy again. Why does he do this? Why, there is no reason. No reason at all. I don't want to get my own and grow up. It's too scary. Sometimes I feel like that, too. Mom says Dad's sick. But I think it's meanness instead. He scares me so much. I peed the bed again. Please don't tell me. Don't worry, Jocelyn. I won't tell. Let's say your tough story so you won't be so scared. I can't, you know. It's your fault that I put my hands on you. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Stop that crime. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. Shh. They'll hear you, T.L., and then we'll really be in for it. Timmy, I'm sick of this. He hits her and she lets it. I'm sorry, I know she can't stop. Maybe if I make enough noise, he'll come after me and leave Mom alone for a while. You can help anybody if you get hurt too, T.L. I know, but somebody has to do it, or we'll have to do it ourselves. I wonder if anybody will call the police this time. Never mind, I'll do it. We'll really have a big problem if you do. Any neighbors might call the police. They hear the noises. That's in, that's not what they have. It's embarrassing. So everybody know what happened again. We have to do something. We can't stand it anymore. What are we going to do? We can move to Australia or something like that. We'll just come after us there. When I'm big enough, I'll show them what it feels like to get hit around. Then you you'd be just like him, yeah. I wonder if Mommy will be sick tomorrow. My belly hurts. Don't worry. If both of you are sick tomorrow, I'll stay home and take care of you. I got an idea. After he leaves for work tomorrow, I'll make pancakes and give Mom breakfast in bed. You can't miss your field trip because of this. Last time you just because of this. I'll stay home and take care of Mom and Jocelyn this time. And the last time you bring the pancakes. Mom never eats after he hits her. The last time was two days before she could get out of bed. Well, if he gives her all of that God, she'll have to stay home from work again. Yeah, and she'll lose this job just like the last one. We'll never have enough money to get out of here. Somebody has to help us. You have seen what hurt is. Children witnessing the abuse of a loved one by another human being are victims who suffer more than can be conveyed with words. The scars these children bear are not always visible, but they are permanent. About 90% of children in a home with domestic violence are aware of the abuse that their mother suffers. Older children are often physically injured trying to protect their mothers. Children may be hurt when objects are thrown, 
and weapons are used. Infants and small children are injured when held by their mother when she is struck. 63% of boys between the ages of 11 and 20 who commit homicide kill the man abusing their mother. All aspects of a child's life will be affected by the abuse they witness. Their health, their school careers, their ability to sleep and eat, and even their ability to enjoy their birthright to childhood. The way these children's relationships are perceived and formed throughout their lives takes on a life or death importance. We, as a community, can join together to help these children. If you witness abuse, call the police. You don't have to put yourself in danger to help someone. And who knows, by making that one phone call, you could be saving someone's life. You know what happened last time? Like you better stop disrespecting. Like I told you last time. What? Little no bitch. What? You little bitch. Hey, so you okay? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. What do you do? Yo, he slapped me again, yo. Just like, oh, I can't believe he keeps treating me like that. But I love him though, and he, every time he just he cries to me. He tells me he's sorry, and he tells me he loves me. Yo, I try to believe. Him. Did you go back on him because you was afraid? I guess so. Yeah. I guess I just try to believe what he says because I don't want it to hurt so bad. Oh my God, I can't believe I was so stupid. He needs some help. He needs help too. You know what I mean? You need to talk to somebody. So he promised. He swore to God he wasn't going to do this again. Oh, my God. And man, bad thing about it. He does it in front of everybody yeah. to make and himself look, you. you know, like he's, the, you know, the big shot. Jesus. And all he does is make him look like a Yo, I am through with him. I don't want to be with him no more, but I'm afraid what he might do, yo. You're just afraid because you know you're through, but you don't know his reaction towards you. Remember the last time, you know, he choked me until I passed out. Mm. You don't need that. You need yeah. to find. You need some help. help. Yeah. Yo, I know I need help, but what can I do? Why does she always have to push everything to the limit? For my hours, it looked like you did all the pushing. You know what I mean. If you would just shut up and listen to what I say, none of this would ever happen. You think you got a dog, but for real, you got a woman. Why don't you show her love and respect? I, lo I do love her. You don't act like it. You push her too much around. I don't know. She just makes me snap. One of these days, you're going to be doing time. And remember that, because I'm your friend. I'm going to tell you that. You're going to be doing time. Teen dating violence is on the rise. 
One in three teenagers will experience some type of abuse in a dating relationship before graduating from high school. During the college years, the number increases to 50% of the young women in dating relationships suffering abuse from their partners. Is it because of what is witnessed at home, in the movies, on the streets? Is it because of gender stereotyping? Or is it in part because we've stood by for too long without finding a way to stop the violence? Okay. 
Get up anyway. Come on. Come on. Keep your mouth shut and pretend like you're sleeping. Uh, there was a lot of yelling and uh, screaming and she was calling for help. Did you call? Yes, I did. You live here? No, I don't. I live next door. Next door? Yes. On the first floor here? Yes. Who lives here? Janet, Joe. Do you have any kids? Any no. pets? No. Uh, maybe a cat. Cat? You know if this is an ongoing problem? Yes, it is. Okay. She was yelling for help, you said? Yes, she was. And it's We had some uh, woman screaming, some loud noise here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just got home. Up, you know, I gotta be okay. You know. Is Janet know. okay? I mean, is Janet okay? Ain't no problem here. Ain't no problem here. What happened here with the food on the floor? Oh, the just stupid cats knocked it over. I got. Can cats. we can we talk to your wife? Uh, my wife's sleeping now. Where is she? Well, she's in the living room, but uh, she's sleeping. Is everything okay then? You said everything's fine. Well, let us talk to her. If everything's okay, then uh, we'll leave. Okay. See over here? Oh, okay. Yeah. Could you step over here, please? Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? She's got a cut on the lip and she's unconscious and not responding. You okay, ma'am? You step over here, please. Sir, we're going to place you under arrest for domestic assault. For what? Domestic assault, sir. Domestic assault? I, you ain't got nothing on me. I, you, you don't got no proof, no nothing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna let you have an easy time here, you know. Okay, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney. You understand your rights, sir? Yeah, I understand my right. How you doing? We have a victim of a domestic assault. She's breathing, she's unconscious, she has a cut on the lip. You might want to check her out. Okay. Everything's okay. We secured the scene here. All right, then. things here for you, okay? I'm going to put a collar on you. need you to keep your head real still here, okay?
34% of the female victims of homicide older than age 15 are killed by their husbands or intimate partners. Domestic violence reaches past the walls of the home. It is not confined to the victim and the abuser, and it doesn't always end with a black eye. This abuse is too many times fatal to the woman who has suffered physical and emotional violations. Children are left without a mother. Parents left without a child. Our community as a whole loses people who contribute to our society. Mothers, friends, human beings. Even those victims fortunate enough to survive the abuse experience a loss. And these losses are felt by the members of the community as well. 22 to 35 percent of the women who visit emergency rooms for treatment have physical or stress-related symptoms as a result of this abuse. One in 10 battered women will attempt suicide. Victims of domestic violence are nine times more likely to take their own lives than non-battered women. At this point, many people may be wondering why a woman would stay in an abusive relationship. One of the most surprising statistics shed some light on a very good reason why a woman might stay in a relationship that has been abusive. The fact is that women who leave their batterers are at a 75% greater risk of being killed by their abusers than those who stay. A few more statistics may surprise you as well. Did you know that up to 50% of this country's homeless women and children are homeless because they are fleeing domestic violence and that a woman's standard of living drops by about 73% in the first year after divorce while the man's improves about 42%? Even though these statistics are frightening, many women do leave abusive relationships and move on to lead lives that are productive and peaceful. Many cities and towns have agencies that provide emergency shelter along with support groups and assistance in finding housing, employment, education, and referral. If you are in an abusive relationship, there is hope and help for you. Check in your phone book for emergency shelters, medical care, attorneys, and batterers intervention services. You are not alone and have nothing to be ashamed of. Oh. 